Good morning, everyone. This is March 26th AM update part two. Uh, I don't know if there'll be a part three, but we'll see. Canada announced it is increasing oil and gas exports by 5% to help meet world demand. The U.S. has also promised uh, to increase exports to Europe, so trying to counter the Russian exports that will be shut off to the rest of the world hopefully soon. Reuters reported that China's foreign ministry summoned Chinese state-owned oil and gas companies to review all current ties with Russia and advise them against further investing in Russia. The Sinopec oil refining company canceled all development projects in Russia. So again, even though Russia is speaking out for Russia, in words, their actions are against Russia still. So China confirmed that Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov will be visiting Beijing on March 31st as part of a meeting of foreign ministers uh, for, for of the countries bordering Afghanistan. Uh, Finland halted rail service between St. Petersburg and Finland uh, yesterday as well. And now there's no word on when that would come back. Rail service between Kaliningrad and Russia proper via the Lithuania now operates with an audio message that says, Today Putin is killing Ukraine's civilians. Do you consent to this? Bulgaria summoned its excuse me. Bulgaria summoned its ambassador to Russia for consultations after Russian ambassador to Bulgaria said that ordinary Bulgarians do not support their government's anti-Russian attitudes. Large pro-government demonstrations occurred in response to the ambassador's comment, basically saying you're wrong, Russia, yet again. France summoned the Russian ambassador after the embassy twi Twitter account posted conspiracy theory cartoons. Around 200 soldiers of the Belarusian Volunteer Battalion officially joined Ukrainian, Ukraine's army from Belarus, taking an oath to fight for Ukraine. Um, multiple German states, including Bavaria and Lower Saxony, make displaying the Russian Z symbol a criminal offense. Fumio Kishida said he sees a growing chance that Russia using nuclear weapons as they get more desperate. Knowing, you, knowing European reliance on Ukrainian wheat, 11 regions of Ukraine have begun to sow their fields despite the war, so good for them. Uh, Spotify has halted all streaming services in Russia, and the Odessa Zoo will reopen tomorrow as normally, a normalcy starts to return to the city, as it is unlikely Russia has the forces to launch an amphibious assault into Odessa or try to move forces through um, Mykolaiv into Odessa. And lastly, I'll show you a photo from a local newspaper in Moscow that reads, nothing is happening in bold. Uh, so it says, nothing is happening. Walk on by. A special operation is underway. No one is growing poorer and the economy is growing. Here's the picture.